Recently I found this retro controller laying around in my house. But it was not made for PC so I decided to modify it. Before this video begins I wanted to show you some before after images of the controller. Please note that this is a wired controller and I am really very sorry for my poor cutting and painting skills. I tried to play some emulator and PC games using this controller and here's a short glimpse of that. Welcome back guys. Before we move further don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any video from us. For this project we'll need an old gaming controller, Arduino Pro Micro, some limit switches, push buttons, one switch and a joystick module. First open the controller with the help of a screwdriver. Keep the screws somewhere safe because we'll need them at the end. You could also 3D print a casing. Remove the old PCB because we'll have to make a new one for this project. Now try to get a basic idea of how and where you're going to connect the switches. Before we go any further, let us see how to interface switches or push buttons with Arduino. A switch or a push button can be connected either in pull up or pull down configuration. In pull up configuration, the Arduino pin is connected to VCC with the help of a resistor. And whenever the button is pressed, the Arduino pin is directly connected to the ground. So for every button press, the Arduino reads a low value as the input. The pull down connection is opposite to that of the pull up connection. In this configuration, the Arduino pin is directly connected to the ground with the help of a resistor. And whenever the button is pressed, the Arduino pin gets connected to the VCC. For most of the buttons in this project, we have used this configuration. Now let's see the circuit diagram for our controller. Link to download this circuit will be provided in the description. The connections are quite simple. All the push buttons and limit switches are connected in the pull down configuration. Whereas the joystick module is connected to the analog pins. Now test the circuit on a breadboard. If everything works fine, it's time to solder our components. I already soldered the push buttons and the joystick module on a general purpose PCB. The size and complexity of the circuit depends on the size of the casing. Now cut the holes for the limit switches and the joystick module on the controller casing. After that, paint the controller with some spray paint. This is how the final product looks like. Now fix the limit switches in their places with some super glue. After this solder the common VCC of the switches together. Then solder the switches to the PCB we created. Once you are done with this, place all the parts inside the casing and tight back the screws. Now let's play some games. This joystick controller can also serve as your PC mouse. Now comes the main question, can it play PC games? Let's try to find out.
I guess you figured out the answer to the question. But still most of the games have various controls like laying down, pick and shoot, open inventory etc. So it becomes impossible to map all these moves to the limited number of buttons we have. This makes playing games like GTA and PUBG difficult with this controller. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes then please hit the like button below. Share this video with your friends and subscribe the channel for more videos like this.